family how are you all excuse the lip of course the day that i was gonna start vlogging again and i was like this is it you need to start picking it up you've been missing youtube <laughs> i've had like one person tell me they missed me um but <laughs> i was like you need to start and then i woke up and i was like no i recognize that feeling i had like a, a tingle on my lips like please no please no please yes it's happened i've got a swollen lip I get this about once a year. I mean, hi guys, fantastic intro. You've not seen you in months, but welcome back to the lip talk. But yeah, I get this like once a year and sometimes it's like a cold sore or sometimes it just turns into a massive swollen lip. And I think because I've been feeling so hot recently, like even on my skin, I've been scratching and god it's just yeah this i think has been triggered and yes my hands and face are a massively different color because i just came back from greece caught the sun anyways yeah my arms caught a lot of sun compared to the rest of me so there's a difference hi guys thank you for coming back it's been a while i feel like i've really abandoned youtube and i'm back with baby number two and for those of you that aren't on instagram mark Knight and mia welcome and the cats welcome baby alaya raya reynolds sometimes i call her alaya sometimes i call her alaya i'm still getting used to it mark's like her name's alaya why do you keep saying alaya i'm like well i've heard people pronounce it both ways so i was like you know i'm just gonna roll with the floor she can be the one it's absolutely fine yeah, we had baby well i had baby alaya um i did end up going for a plan c section i can't remember the last vlog i did but i was discussing sort of my options with you guys i did go for a plan c section i've got to say those of you who messaged me saying that the recovery from a plan c section is a lot quicker than an emergency I personally agree with that and I think you're 100% right and yeah I feel loads better obviously she's about god I don't, I don't know how old she is I think she's about 10 weeks now <laughs> sounds really bad but you totally lose count after the first child you totally lose count and the second I feel really bad for them I was like oh you know Mia she's got her injections this day she's got to get this done need to do that with a lady I've had like reminders of like you need to bring her in because she's got an appointment I'm like oh my god I completely forgot <laughs> But I'm sure you guys will see just how like hectic and busy it is for us at the moment I mean, I want to take a new take on the vlogs of showing you more of that side um, of obviously now having two kids as well how we're juggling everything and just how we're getting on and believe it or not up until the day before my plan C section you guys I was at a photo shoot for Sasa <laughs> I was at the photo shoot for the summer um, collection and actually this t-shirt is our throw me on t-shirt in oatmeal literally the day before I was at a fireworks in daylight um, I was at the photo shoot so it was I was non-stop so you can imagine why I've not been able to pick up the camera for YouTube and it was just all go 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 I had to prep for that so those of you who have shopped our new collection thank you so much and thank you for supporting us as small business owners it means so much to us and because of your support we're now working on the next autumn winter collection which feels absolutely surreal but so yeah i've just missed you honestly i've missed you guys so much i feel like on instagram yeah i do my stories on tiktok i've been doing daily vlogs so if you missed anything in between it'll be on there if you want to go catch up with it um but i feel like on youtube i just sit down and it's nice and you guys just see like even the mundane stuff but you're happy with seeing it so i appreciate that and yeah it's gonna take a little take on the vlogs and i'm gonna show you more of the business side we finally moved into our office as well oh my god i feel like i'm having to catch up with a friend and you guys know i'm never normally this excited when it comes to my vlogs and like hi guys or whatever but this time I'm like oh my god you guys 
<laughs> so yeah there's just a lot going on i'm so happy to be back and chat with you guys alaya is currently down for a nap mia is currently playing outside we have we had my nieces last night because it's some holidays they stayed over and um, so she's happily playing with them which means i actually managed to get up get ready and curl my hair Although I did have a shower and I fell back to sleep because I had an antihistamine to try and help this situation. Although I know they generally only work when they're already in your system. So, but anyways, it did make me like sleepy. So I ended up falling back to sleep. But I'm up now. Marcus is currently downstairs. It is Sunday today. It's bank holiday weekend. And he's getting bits ready for the business. And um, we've got some orders to pack because when it's your own business, you never stop. And I thought I would show you guys... Um, Alaya's nursery. I've already shared Mia's nursery on Instagram. I know a lot of you aren't on there. And uh, Mia's bedroom, sorry. So I'll show you Alaya's nursery first and then I'll show you Mia's bedroom. Oh, so guys, just putting in. I just had to put in my Invisalign. So if I have like, you know, a bit of a slurred speech for the rest of the vlog, it's because I really need to keep these in. Tomorrow is my final Invisalign that I'm putting in. It's my last week, however, I've got a feeling it might need to be extended. But I don't know, I also need to book the appointment, which I've not done yet. God, you can really tell the difference with how I talk when this is in. <coughs> it's not a picture, baby. Hi! Hi! What's up? Cookie slime! Black one. Black one. <laughs> it's not chocolate slime. You're just strawberry slime. You're mm. funny, Mia. I need to go to the shops and then you need to go to get some bits, don't you? Yeah. So we'll just do that. We'll go around shops and stuff. This one has got so big. Yes. Yes. Are you a big girl? Mm. Yeah. So I, so I, I talk. talk. Now. Now. I talk now. Talk now. Good girl. Yeah. Mashallah. What's the hardest thing is not having this. It's not being able to kiss this one and Alaya is literally like the hardest thing ever just not being able to swish her up with cuddles um, Mama, so yeah, I will have Sisa, slime bubbum you want slime mum mum? yeah we'll go to shops and we'll get you yeah we'll get you a snack top up to use some snacks but I've just got a little bit of work to do before we head out um, but yeah, I will be showing you yeah, guys on how yeah, getting on with mama. two kids. Mommy. Yes, baby. Slime, mum. Slime, mum. Yeah. Okay, baby, we will go to shops and get you a snack top up, okay? Do you want to go get socks and shoes? No. No? You go get socks? No. No, you don't want to go shop? No. You don't want to go outside? No. No? Okay, then, don't go then. Don't go then. Me and the cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Mimi, can you go ask Nanny if she can bring Mama phone? Can you go get Mama phone? Yes. Go on then, please. Thank you. Mommy's phone. Yeah, go get Mommy's phone. Okay. So, I'm just wanting to do a couple of bits on the website. Marx is getting like a little presentation ready for us. And yeah, I'm just running through and updating what's been sold out, what we still have in stock. The oatmeal t shirt, we've got a few sizes left in the small and medium, I think. I think some in excess too, but the large has sold out. This without effortless black trousers has been such a popular combination. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going through it just to see what where we're at with the Mommy. stock levels. Hi. Hi. Mommy. Yeah? Mommy's phone gone. Where's mommy's phone gone? And mommy's phone. Mommy's phone. And mommy phone. Is that what she's saying? Mm, mommy, With the hands on the hip. Yeah, but where, where's mommy? And mommy phone. <laughs> it's upstairs. Can you go get it? Okay. No. Okay. Say no way. Ask Nanny to give it you. Look at Marcus, you can't see him probably. We can see the red reflection there in his Manchester United t shirt, which he insisted on picking up from duty free. And then he almost. I'm going to see my dead flowers there, he's changing. He almost wore it on holiday. I can't believe that you were contemplating wearing that on holiday, Marcus. I'll represent. Lad. Represent. Lad, lad, lad. He I was like, that is so is, embarrassing you're not wearing that. I know because all the flies will go. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Hi, mommy. Mommy, just gonna check what snacks you've got. I want these topping up. Some grizz bar. Crisp packet. Right, so she needs. Yeah. Mom, 
mommy's just checking what snacks you need so you're all out of yogurt and all of your bars hey yeah you all right okay little oh my god it's hot in here oh side of me is done Hi guys, you can probably hear Alea stirring a little bit. I went to my niece's because Alea had fallen asleep and going to the car. I said, Do you just wait in the car? I'm going to quickly run into Hisham Home, getting like a little part I'll be done. And on sale, like 10 minutes in there. Because I just like the HM home here is so much better than the one near my house, and yeah, I just couldn't help myself, so I picked a couple of bits. Might do a little haul for you. Oh, my Ali is gonna start crying right I'm after I've had the car. They've just run into another shop to get some bits that they need because they're going to theme park tomorrow. Um, Mia is having her nap currently, and Mia's playing up. She has had a feed, so she's fine. Um, I think she's just when the car's still for too long like she doesn't like it and um, i have got the aircon on because it is rather hot today um but already she has like a, a little cover on her as well and it's not blowing directly on her god you forget all the things you have to do with like a baby when you have a like mia looks massive to me now because of a layer right let me go sort a layer out i'm hoping she doesn't start crying too much put the goods in the pram put the goods in the pram Oh my little Lele. Look, it's happily plodding along with the cousins. Time for life, right? Look how long your hair has gone. I say it all the time. Mashallah, mashallah. She always says, say mashallah. <laughs> Very large muslin cloth is always a necessity with a baby, and especially breastfeeding baby. These are great to just like pop all these off. Just going to top up Mia's snack jar whilst I unload all of the shopping. One handed is not as easy as I thought it would be. It's all packed. So I was just trying to put the washing away, but little Miss Madam wants a feed, so I'm gonna give her a quick feed. Marcus is gonna make us dinner, kids are screaming. Good day, madam. Good day, other madam. I want two pitches. To do Mia one. Yeah. I think I'll have you know what I'm saying two to you, but I think I want two as well. Beans. See how she gets. I think she'll eat it. Right, it honestly looks like it's going to rain. But it looks like it's going to rain a bit. I've got clothes and she hung out. And look at all this lovely mess everyone has left in the garden. Guys, I may not have been vlogging, but just know something's never changed and this is my washing pile that needs to be put away. <laughs> I bet you didn't miss seeing this. Oh, I washed all of my salsa clothes. As an FYI, any of your salsa products, make sure you wash them inside out. These are the right way around because turn the background when I dry them. Um, but wash them inside out on 30 degrees. Miss Mia is eating in a high chair in the kitchen. So that's her little portion. I didn't make into a little like pita sandwich like we are because she won't eat that whereas this she's more likely to sort of grab and eat. I swear we've not had these in the longest time. The minute I start vlogging it's what you make again. Seven for weeks we've been having this for months now. Mm. <laughs> Just eating but this one I was about to kiss her then. I was about to give her a kiss and I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed till this clears up, although it has gotten better. Just eating, just got a, a movie on. Mia's just, is Mia eating, Marcus? Oh, really? Need to, I need to try and get Mia to eat some more food. And she'll be going to bed soon. Layla, I'm just trying to burp her. She decided to have another feed. She's custard feeding at the minute. So yeah, it's uh, very exhausting. Good morning everyone. I kid you not when I say 
this is an iced caramel macchiato this is the first coffee I'm having since being pregnant and even after having a layer I've not had any coffee like I've had matcha fraps and stuff but I've not had any coffee at all and this is like the first one I've had like a sip here and there of Marcus's when, I, when he's got something new and I want to try it but other than that I've not had it and I was just like you know what I need one today the entire house it is about 10 p.m the entire house is still asleep i don't know why i looked at my watch because it's upside down and i just realized the battery is gone as well <laughs> but it's about 10 p.m at uh, 10 a.m and yeah marcus and the girls are still sleeping but yes it is the second day now originally was all going to vlog for one day but anyways with how busy it got in the evenings i was trying to feed myself leia mia <laughs> ended up just like stopping the vlog there and today i do want to show you the bits i picked up from h&m um, including this set actually i'm going to show you properly because i've just put on this morning and it is beaut First monsters are like, hi. Are you done poo? Okay, let's. That's how she woke you up. I done poo. Come on, let's go to nappy. She walk a layer up too. Nice nappy. Good girl. Oh, you'd have to throw it on the floor. Go on then. Get nappy out. The household has awoken. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the right nappy. Good girl. Come on. Yeah. Yay, good girl. Then we just need wipes. Where's your wipes? Right. Where's wipes? I think they're still doing that. The nappy caddy. You gonna grab it? Lay down, lay down now. Mama will grab it. You're getting it? No, that's that's anti back wipes. Not this one. Baby wipe. Get baby wipe. Yeah, you can't see it. Mommy will get it. Give me a quick bath because I feel like she needs one. And then I might even chuck Lele in. Do you, do you want a bath for your sister? Sister? Yeah. Sister? sister. It's easy for me just to like put them both in the same bath. Yeah, it's always it's always easy for me just to chuck a layer in the angel care seat and I have Mia there and just have the shower head on and just holds them both down. Sister, good morning. Hi, sister. Good morning, your Please. sister. Mommy. Yeah? Please, sister. His sister, yeah. Please, sister. You've got me Ooh. a croissant is in here that I didn't even realise. <laughs> Lady, we see you just evening croissant crumbs. <laughs> Aja, come here, my putter. What's wrong? Come on, what's wrong? Come here, putter. Aja, eat the bell. Aja, where do you want to go? Okay, let's go. He has changed her mind. She doesn't want to bath now, so I'm going to change her layer. Can I have Lele's nappy, please? <laughs> Yeah, give me Lele's nappy. Hi, baby. Hi, baby, gorgeous girl. Hi, baby, gorgeous girl. Would you like some to do? Yeah? All right, go down to Papa and Papa make put you to do in. Mama making babies. <laughs> getting a layer's milk ready she is basically um i had a suspicion that when she was first born she had the same milk intolerance as mia so we started giving her the pepti one which is prescribed by the dietitian and now we're back on the formula one because we're slowly trying to ease it back into her diet to see whether it like she still has any like effects or anything like that so far she seems okay so i don't think she has got the milk intolerance but i'll keep you guys posted with she just had the same sort of signs as me i had very uncomfortable very windy and nappies were explosive which i know can generally just be like some babies in general and um, without having that but because mia had it and they were like similar signs i just thought that that might be the case but i think she's all right so we are just trying the normal formula mixed in with the peptide one at the minute um, and then i'll have a phone call with the dietitian to basically see whether she used to stay on it or if she's fine and she hasn't got anything and maybe it's just like her body getting used to the formula and the breastfeed all right guys both kids have had their breakfast i do need to film some work today even though it's bank holiday monday and yes both kids are fed and alaya is just laying down um 
she'll just stay awake now until she's tired and then she'll fall asleep and um, i don't necessarily try to get her down for naps and stuff she just generally tends to stay awake till she's had enough and then she'll go to sleep mia is she's had a breakfast she's had quite a late one so i'll give her lunch in about an hour and a half i'd say and then she'll be ready for lunch time but i do need to nip to the shops anyway so works out well because i can pick up bits for that and yes before anything else now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the nursery and mia's room because i've been going on about it for the vlog and i've not done it yet so yeah i'll show you that now and then i pretty i'm sure i'll quickly show you the h&m bits and that'll be the end of this everything that i can that you see in this vlog down below as well just a quick run through on Alea's bedroom because she's crying i need to go and give her a feed so i made this i saw something similar on etsy and i was like that's so cute but i think i can make it admittedly i don't think i've done the best job but i think it's cute enough i ordered like bits of amazon like the stuffing i had from an old uh, cushion that i was gonna throw away but i was like hold on i can use that i ordered this material off amazon and this like suede string and then one of mia's presents not Alea's presents sorry she got when she was born had like this little cute rabbit on it and i thought it was perfect he looks a little bit sad but i kind of like even though it's not perfect that i made something for her room it feels really special so i love that this is the mamas and papas drawers and all i did this is the same one that we've had in here for me is i switched the handles i ordered these off etsy also um, and i switched them to like these little cloud like gold lined like little knobs on there and i just really like them they're like a pearly cloud and i just think they're so cute excuse the pin i need to get marcus to like properly put this in i just put it there just to see where i wanted like the teddy bears hanging that's also from etsy um this is from teeny tiny baby that she, um they gifted for alaya and yeah i just wanted a couple of bookshelves in here so that we can reach for the girls and then here are a couple of outfits that i want to get her into and i just thought they'd look cute hanging there also this is one of my favorite things in the room it is from etsy also pretty much everything like is from etsy um but I just thought it was so incredibly cute. I need to get Marcus to raise the cot again, but Leia's not sleeping in here anytime soon, so it's absolutely fine. Um, and then I love this like little boucle wall letter. Um, there is one for Mia as well. I got an M for Mia and I got A for Leia, and I just love how cute it is. Um, and that's like the basic stuff in Leia's room. So I'll show you Mia's. Mm -hmm. obviously Mia's room isn't huge because if you guys remember this was our old dressing room but all I did is I finally got the doors on the wardrobes I just need to get the handles put on my father-in-law is coming down to um 
watch the girls and mum were doing Marcus's birthday so I've got a couple of jobs for him to do and that'll be one of them um, and also uh, these are the drawers that I went for sorry that's not clothing because I've overloaded it with clothes but I've got some black candles that will go on here but as you can see it's just like a normal bedroom but now with the wa like wardrobes in there um, so one of the things I did I asked the lady from Ikea to choose the doors for me told her what plan we had and she gave me the wrong door so now that corner bit doesn't shut so i've been meaning to ring them for the longest time i'm going to call them because i need to replace that door with the right one so that's on my to-do list because that's just ridiculous for mia's room i also got the little m boucle like i said from the etsy shop i'll link everything that i can down below for you and um, these are just from h&m home there's still a couple of bits i want to get i want to get some nice like cot bedding um but i just feel like it's so hard like everything's for single beds and stuff i absolutely love this cot bed she's yet to have like a full night in it because it's for mums and papas and as you can see it's got storage underneath um, my phone which is perfect because we don't have loads of room in this house um so i need storage everywhere i can and that's like got mia's clothes in there as well as she's got some space in one of the drawers but it just makes everything so much easier because it's actually huge and i loved this one the reason i chose this by the way guys this cot uh, was gifted to us by mamas and papas because it was part of an ad that i was doing just to like clarify um it, but the reason i love this one this is actually coincidentally called the mia cot bed <laughs> which so is meant to be is uh, this when you convert it into a toddler bed it actually looks really nice and i found a lot of the cot beds that you convert into toddler beds i personally thought they looked ugly but this one looks absolutely gorgeous when you do that and it's huge as well which is perfect because she's one second oh my god it's all going off because the kids are crying the kids are crying um but yeah when she's finally in here and we convert it it actually looks really nice coming she's really outgrown the other one right okay mommy's coming she still sleeps in that one at the minute because she basically i was not transitioned her to this room um mommy's coming i want to get her routine down and move her into this room eventually oh my goodness it's all going off right that's the room tour of this one, I'm gonna have to go. So guys, I finally just fed Alea. She wanted a feed and I've put her down. Um, she fell asleep whilst she was feeding on, I'd say. She shouldn't let them fall asleep whilst they're feeding on you, but I just do whatever's easy for me at the point. Um, so I just thought before I end this vlog, let me quickly show you what I picked up from H&M. I just went to Mia's room to show you this set because I love it. I'm so glad I picked it up. It's this really like thin, ribbed um knit set so i think it might have been like 45 pounds altogether i got like a size m in the trousers and a did i get a large in the top yeah i got a large in the top because i just wanted it to be like really baggy and loose and it's like the perfect fit string it's got a drawstring there so you can tighten the trousers and it's very like light and airy and look at the sleeves the sleeves have like this split on them and it's almost like a bit like a gummies style there but i just really liked it and so i was like right i need that for comfy days and i'm so glad i picked it up if they do it in like black and stuff i will definitely get that too um i'll see if i can find it online and link it down below for you so another thing i picked up is this black ribbed sort of high neck top i'm not gonna try it on because well, i can't bother it um but it's very simple it's quite a thin knit but i just think stuff like this generally tends to last you a bit longer it's got really long sleeves you guys know i love a long sleeve which is exactly why i designed like exaggerated sleeves on like our sasa bodysuits too but i just thought this was really cute and nice it's that ribbed material once again so i'll see if i can find this online and link it down below this was 17.99 i got it in a medium i think i should have got a small but it looked too small in the shop and now i'm looking at it, i was like a small would have been fine because i think this would look like really nice quite fitted and just with like some blue denim it's like a really simple go-to outfit and um, if you're going out for lunch or if you just don't know what to wear and you know you're just going shopping or whatever it's a feel safe outfit also picked up this oh i don't know if you can see that i picked up this is it lime and patchouli sublime patchouli room diffuser rich patchouli with sweet hints of orchid and fig i basically had one of their diffusers i've got one in the office and it smells so incredible every time we walk into the office marcus doesn't like the scent but i do it's the first thing you can smell um so i thought i'd get one for my living room i should have actually picked up two because i think the one for the office probably needs replacing i got that and then 
picked up this black vase you've probably seen these everywhere but i just thought it looked really nice downstairs near the fireplace because it's quite cream and i want to add some more black accents so i thought this would look nice i actually have like the cream color for the office too the other thing i don't like about that is that it looks like like you can see visible scratch marks really easily obviously because it's black oh i didn't realize i picked this up knitted vest i got this in size small because it's quite oversized and just thought of putting like a white t-shirt on underneath especially for the transitional month where it'll get a little bit chilly but some days you still want like a short sleeve t-shirt on i thought this would look really nice i'm a little bit mad though because i've just spotted where's it gone i'm pretty sure i've just seen something orange on here which i assume means someone tried this on in the changing room and just got their bloody foundation on it uh it really annoys me that when people don't take care of like stuff even when trying it on in the shops like if you don't want it someone else is gonna buy it like me and go home and realize it's got a mark on it anyways can't find it but i thought that's quite nice it comes down quite low as well so if you want your bum covered it covers your bum we just picked up some of these hair bubbles these i use in mia's hair they're great because they're not they're just like they're not elastics it's just material stretchy material hair bubbles so i find them really gentle on her hair as well so they don't really tug her hair because she now has long enough for it to go in ponytails so i picked up some of them because she needed some more and then i got sorry making so much noise is this this plant pot so there's a bit of a story behind this i have a plant downstairs in my kitchen um we actually sadly lost my cousin um a couple of months ago actually and it was very sudden it was a shock he was very young and yeah horrible time for everyone literally when i mean suddenly like we lost him really sudden just you know god's will is out of nowhere so when my auntie was sort of packing up his flat he had like lots of plants he was such a animal like vegan plant lover and he had so many plants but what my auntie did is she collected all the plants and she like gave them to us like let us choose one and i thankfully it's still alive and it's in like a silver pot and it doesn't really go with anything and i've had it for months now and i've actually kept it alive and luckily it's a low maintenance one that i picked and anyways i needed a new plant pot for it so i saw this one online and then i saw it in store so i picked it up and i saw this plant pot so i had to pick it up because i thought it's really cute it's got like these little specks on it they're like almost like a yellow color but it's like this really cute gray color and it's got the drainer there as well so i'm going to get some more soil and just move the plant from the original pot into this one and it's going to stay in my kitchen um it's just like a nice little memory that i have of him so yeah that this was actually the main reason that i headed out so i went out for one thing and came back with all of this but anyways that's you know that happens a lot yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pick up some soil for that today so i can repot it in the new plant pot yeah i think this vlog is gonna be super duper long so i'm gonna leave it here now i did want to take you guys to the office with me but hopefully now that the vlogs are back i can do that on the next one marcus and i still need to run there and pack the bank holiday orders for sasa um so we're gonna do that today so they'll be ready to ship out tomorrow and then i've just got some work like i said i've got some work to film as well so i'll be doing that and um, but other than that it's so nice to be back i hope you're all doing well and that uh, you missed me just as much as i missed you and i will hopefully see you guys for the next vlog i think i'm gonna keep them to like once a week vlog because that'll be most manageable and realistic for me and um, so i hope that's okay with you all and that you're having the best or you've had the best summer holidays with your kids um and yeah inshallah i'll see you all again soon bye